Hey guys, welcome to Beyond the Bay, your favorite podcast and channel for all things Bay Area sports. My name is Nico Schwegler, and we are going to be covering today the most impressive San Francisco 49ers so far for a team that's been 3-0 and absolutely firing on all cylinders in all three phases of the gridiron. First up, I'm going to talk about wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. Ayuk came out of Arizona State a few years ago, and this season has been on an absolute tear. If you watched the game last night, he sat against the New York Giants nursing a shoulder injury he suffered in week two against the Rams. But in those first two games, especially against Pittsburgh, Ayuk was absolutely on fire. He completely cooked Patrick Peterson, is only one way to describe it. And he really put himself on that pedestal to cement himself as a potential wide receiver one in this league. Next up, we gotta talk about the kid that everyone is talking about in every household in America, Brock Purdy. Oh my goodness, where do I even begin with Brock Purdy? He has been absolutely incredible for Kyle Shanahan's offense. And he was really putting together a great season that is also putting away the rumors that we heard all offseason about Sam Darnold coming in. Can Trey Lance win his starting job back? And Brock Purdy came into training camp coming off the UCL surgery and absolutely dominated training camp where Kyle Shanahan said he would have to melt off the face of the earth in order to not be the quarterback one, and we are seeing it so far. He's completed nearly two thirds of all his passes. He has over 700 passing yards, four passing touchdowns, zero interceptions, and currently has a passer rating over 100. You can't ask for much more out of a quarterback who is the last pick in the draft, whose salary is allowing you to keep this core intact, and we'll see if Brock Purdy can lead this team to a Super Bowl victory that they so coveted for the longest time. My biggest thing with Brock Purdy is that if Trey Lance was doing this right now, we would be hailing Trey Lance as potentially the next coming of Mahomes, of Josh Allen, all these great young quarterbacks. But there still seems to be a few doubts about Brock Purdy simply because he was the last pick in the 2022 draft. I simply don't get it. He's absolutely flourishing in this offense. And yes, if you took him out of Shanahan's offense, maybe he wouldn't be as prolific as he is right now. But that's just simply not the case. And right now what the 49ers have is a kid who comes in every single day and every single Sunday, he comes prepared and he absolutely balls out. He just went for his first 300 plus yard passing yard game in the NFL as a quarterback. And a lot of people are saying that he didn't play that well, which he honestly, he didn't. But he still finished with 310 yards, two touchdowns, and zero interceptions in a game they won 30 to 12. Point made. Next up, I'm gonna move it over to the defensive side of the ball. And for this one, I'm actually gonna start out with a position group, which is the 49ers cornerbacks. They've been absolutely stellar so far. Tarverius Ward has been completely locked down so far through three weeks and has an interception as well as being the fourth highest tackler on the 49ers roster. Isaiah Oliver, a really sneaky pickup from the Falcons during the offseason, has looked very good in his nickel sets. And in, to add to that, has an interception and has been very, very good in the positions that he's played so far this season. And finally, I have to give a shout out to Diamador Lenore. Leads a team in tackles with 25. This is a team that has Fred Warner and Dre Greenlaw, arguably the best linebacker core in the entire league. For me, it is, but bias 49ers fan, but I think I have a pretty good case as to why. He still leads the team in tackles. He has an interception and he's really solidified himself as that number two corner so far to be opposite of Charvarius Ward and take on those tough assignments. He didn't have the best season last year, but in those playoffs really showed glimpses of greatness from himself. 
especially against the Seahawks and the Cowboys. We'll see if he can keep that up as the season progresses. Now before I get to my final player, I do want to give out a few shout outs to a few different players. Now, Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey is playing at nearly an MVP level right now. No one's coming even close. Bijan's played well for the Falcons, but there's no one that comes even close right now to Christian McCaffrey. I've never seen this man stiff arm people the way he's stiff arming corners. It's absolutely incredible to watch. He has 12 touchdowns, or he scored a touchdown in his past 12 games. And they have not lost in the regular season when he started. Him coming over from that trade with Carolina was one of the best things that Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch have pulled off during their time in San Francisco. Bravo to them. Next person I want to give a shout out to is Talanoa Hofunga. Huff has been absolutely magical so far in secondary and has really continued to improve on that all-pro season, which he deserved last year. Two interceptions already through the season, and he looks like he's just going to continue to build on that over and over again. Definitely going to be interesting to see how he progresses and what it will look like when it's time for him to get paid, and if the Niners will have the capital to pay him in a few years. My final player for this video, through three weeks of this season, not entirely three weeks, but the Niners are now 3-0, is Jake Moody. The rookie kicker out of Michigan, selected in the third round of the NFL Draft. He didn't look that great in preseason. In fact, he looked somewhat abysmal. He had an injury and was just missing kicks flat out in preseason. I saw throughout social media, Niner fans begging the front office to essentially bribe Robbie Gold to come back because we were so afraid that we just whipped on this kicker that we selected in the third round. I held out faith in Moody because kickers, when you select a kicker in the third round, they should be good. They should at least be serviceable and be a very solid option for you. Jake Moody, in that first game against Pittsburgh, silenced all the doubters. He hit a 50 plus yard field goal as his second field goal of the game. He hit three field goals overall, three extra points, and he was absolutely incredible against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And ever since, he's just continued to groan. In these past two games against the Rams and Giants, he has not missed a kick so far. And it's looking like he is every bit worth of that third round pick so far for the 49ers. This has been Beyond the Bay. I'm your host, Nico Schweigler. And next time, we'll just be talking about more Bay Area sports. So like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about, and I'll see you in the next video. Schweigs, signing out.